For today's leadership exercise, we're going to talk a little bit about the same topic y'all had earlier on. Now, with the traits of effective leaders, the traits of not effective leaders, or good and bad, however you want to call it, we've identified those through our discussion earlier. So what I want to ask you guys right now is think back to all the people you've seen in positions of leadership. Of all of those that you've seen, what percentage of all of those people would you say are effective leaders or good leaders? Go ahead, call it out. 25%. Really? Say about 40. 40? Yeah, I was in the ballpark of 40, 45. 45? You want to keep calling it out? 50? I got, I got 10. Two. I got 15. 15? 10. 95. 95. Right. Come on, what'd you say? 15. 15%. One more. Let's go one more. Give me another. 10. Like legit, thinking back to the people you've interacted with in leadership roles, how many of them have been effective leaders? I'm going to say about 75%. 75? <laughs> Now, somebody with your computer open or really good at math or you got a phone, grab me that average for that, please. While someone's getting that average, what I need for you all to do, each of you have a little note card that I gave you and you have a black pen on the side that does not have lines on it. Go ahead and write your name. Write your name, whether it's your last name, your First initial dot last name, just write your name on that card, please. Once you're done, go ahead and pass them to the front row so I can grab them. Get the average, man? 45. 45.6. <laughs> 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 What? Thank you. I didn't got it down to that. Yeah, I didn't know either. I don't mind. All right. Does, there, does anyone else still have a card with their name on? Awesome. Based off what you guys told me on a class average, based off your experience of all personnel put in leadership roles, only 45.6% of them are effective leaders or good leaders. Step your phone out. Give me a favor. We'll call it 16 on the news. So 15 students plus me, 16. Grab me 45.6% of 16. So nine. So 16 times 0.456. Yeah. So I think that's right. So it's been a while since I've been in school. Yeah, yeah that would be right. Sweet. All right, so get that percentage for me. There you go. Or divide by 100 if you did. Not. Now, keep in mind, this is the class average of what you all said were effective leaders, whether we look at the 95 high or the 15 low. On average, 45.6 personnel. 7.3. 7.3. You can't have 0.3 of a person, so let's call it 7. In this room, the 16 of us leaders, seven. Based off what y'all gave as an average people put in leadership roles that are good leaders, out of the 16 of us in this room, only seven, statistically, only seven of us can be good or effective leaders. And I want y'all to keep that in mind. Now, what I need y'all to do I'm going to pass these back out. If you happen to get a card that has your name on it, you get your own card back, I want you all to pass it back to me so I can make sure someone else gets it. Don't look at them yet. Don't mess with them. Now, with those cards that I just gave you all, you should not have your own card. Go ahead. Turn it over without any noise, no reactions at all. Just read the name. Now, what I want you guys to do is the side with the lines using that black pen that you got. Write down three words on how you would describe that individual written in the card. Not 
Do you know that one? Yeah. Okay. That's like good positive word. Three ways to describe. Like if you know this person or you don't know this person. Well, y'all have been in class for how many days already? So you've noticed tendencies about each other. You've interacted with them. We'd have professional conversations. We'd have heated debates. We've seen how folks operate in groups. We've seen them present. So use what you know about them, what you've learned in this class to describe that individual on your card. Does anyone else still have a card? Sweet. Now, what I need you guys to do, I need, who types fast? Who's my fastest type? Squiggly line guys, where are you at? No, I can't. No, no, no. Just, I don't even see you on a computer. Go ahead. So that'll help me out, sir. Up there. We got a blank word documented on here. Now, thinking back, this might seem a little repetitive from our discussion earlier on leadership traits. But since I was not, let's hear it. What traits out of these 45.6% of leaders give me traits about them that put them in this 45.6%. Call it out. So that is going to type. They're going too fast. I was talking. I'll kill. I don't know. Yeah. You missed it. You missed empathetic. Um, empathetic. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure the screens, the, the camera's not going to catch this. Not very well. You can't see it. It's all right. I'll call it out for the camera to see. Or I use some uh, YouTube editing and I'm going to scroll across the bottom like that. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. And hit the bell. Reliable. Thank you. Influential. <laughs> Honest. Yo, it is 2022. We just gotta put it on here. Keep it 100. Yes. 100. I like that. I got teenagers. This is how I know. No, 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 no. 100. 100 is a T. 100 is a T. It's definitely a T. It's a T. It's 100. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a T. No, it's a T. It's a T. Come on, man. 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 Let me ask you, do y'all feel is this, this may not be an all-inclusive list, but is this a general consensus on what we look for in an effective leader? Yes, sir. Those personnel that y'all said got to the 45.6% effective leaders demonstrated one, some, or all of these. Appreciate it, so let have a seat, sir. Thank you so much. Now, for those of y'all in the camera, I know you can't read it from there. It's all right, but we've got our effective leaders need to be outspoken, passionate, transparent, competent, motivational, empathetic, professional, compassionate, reliable, influential, informed, goal-oriented, trustworthy, ambitious, genuine, confident, protective, real, keeping it 100, <laughs> honest, Versus camera tricks. Yeah, oh, so. never mind. I was at the bottom of the list. So again, not an all-inclusive list. Thank you, I appreciate it. Not an all-inclusive list, but definitely some valuable traits that we look for as people in the folks that are being us. Now, I hope I didn't put anyone down and get you kind of like, oh crap, is this me second guessing yourself? When we said that out of the 16 of us in this room, only seven are good or effective leaders. But based off the of statistics, only seven could be. So the question y'all need to ask yourselves when you wake up every day, you're in that new role as a first line supervisor, you walk into work, you know, you got to handle business, you got to lead and inspire your people. You got to think to yourself, how do I become? one of those seven. And that's what this list was all about. Y'all already know them because you gave us the list. What we are going to do now is you're going to get your card back. Before you get your card back and you start to think, oh crap, what do they think about me? What do they say about me? What I want y'all to do with these cards 
You share with it with who you want. You can completely keep it to yourself. You can share with other folks. You can put it on the gram, give it a nice little filter, whatever you see fit. What I would suggest is that you use it as a moment of reflection every day. Because whatever these three things are that someone wrote about you is what they have noticed from y'all over the past couple of weeks. That's what stands out to them about you. Hopefully, at least one of those characteristics that they wrote to describe you is tied to something on this list. A synonym. It doesn't have to be that word exactly, but hopefully it's something on the list. In the event, something on your list is the exact opposite. At least now you know that in order to become one of the 45.6%, you know what you need to work on. That's just a little bit for y'all to think about. So I'm going to pass these out back to you now. So again, y'all, that list, taking a look at what someone, one of your peers that has had the chance to interact with you over the past few weeks in conversations, in debates, in projects, graded presentations, maybe even off duty, they have seen characteristics about you. Take a look at the list. Compared to what we see as characteristics of effective leaders and realize what we all have to work on, we're trying to be 45.6%. Questions or thoughts?